pandemic is over, uh, it might be fun to publish a book of all the suggestions I get in uh, through my emails. We have a lot of creative folks in the community. We've got a lot of good suggestions, and we've implied, we've, we've tried to apply as many of the good suggestions as we can. Um, it's amazing the number of conspiracies that are out there, but it's fun reading. Uh, so we don't uh, discourage anybody from writing, but uh, uh, it, it may be worth a book uh, once this uh, pandemic is over. So um, we work. We have worked individually with every single state um, to determine what their state testing needs are, uh, how are they organizing in the context of the CDC, um, and we are supplying them with the supplies they need to meet that. So every week, shipments of the basic supplies go to every single state according to their state testing plans. And we keep a little bit in reserve, right? Because when there's an outbreak somewhere that we need to surge, we do have that. So for example, the state testing goals for July are somewhere uh, across the country, about 13.9 million tests is their first line goals. And we, we, we will match those state by state. As I the modeling shows is that we're gonna reach capacity in terms of testing. Our testing apparatus or system can only test so much, right? We only have so many supplies, so many people. So eventually that number is going to kind of taper off. Uh, it's not going to continue to grow because we can only test so many people given the apparatus, the personnel, the testing supplies, the testing labs, and so on. When you, test the, when you do testing to that extent, you're going to find more people. You're going to find more cases. So I said to my people, slow the testing down, please. Still probably have a few ICU units left, uh, but uh, it's, that's a fluid number in terms of the number of beds and, and the staff to manage them. But 58 is a big number for our uh, immediate region. So I'd have to say the numbers speak for themselves. I'm very concerned and I'm not satisfied with what's going on because we're going in the wrong direction. If you look at the curves of the new cases, so we've really got to do something about that, and we need to do it quick. Aren't causing the problem. Well, the beach itself isn't causing the problem. The beach is the lure to bring po folks to our community. And when you have an additional 50 or 100,000 people coming into your community on the way to the beach, and as they spend the night to come back to the beach the next day, they're going into all the convenience stores, the restaurants, uh, academy to get to sporting supplies or going to Home Depot. They could be going to Lowe's. They could be going nowhere. And that's where a lot of the exposures are happening is when they're in mixing within the community in close ranges. And so it's not the beach that's the problem. It's the, it's the time away from the beach, but that's what brings them to town. Oh,